Welcome to a totally random unboxing of little small thingies that rustle around of, uh, yeah, things I've ordered from China on eBay AliExpress. I don't even really know what's, what's in them, but sometimes you find it all fun things, you go like, oh I need that little adapter or cable or whatever, and so yeah, these are what these are, we're going to find out, yeah, what they are, mystery. Um, I might say a little bit about what my recording setup is too at the moment, I'm just outside my office here in the, the lobby, and I've got my boom microphone just above me, if we pan up and see that, hello, that's the Octava MK012 hypercardioid, and so running down uh, with a boom buddy here in the C-stand that then goes into my sound devices uh, by the two and I've got a snake that runs out which is going into, um, yeah, back up here <laughs> which is, and the snake is running into the, the Sony PMW F3 uh, Sony Alta that I have and so yeah, I'm, I'm sending it both to the, the left and right channels as well, exactly the same on both. And uh, yeah, it's quite handy. I can just look down there and see that, oh yeah, my levels are kind of okay-ish something. Um, anyway, enough rebel, rebel rambling. Open up the first mystery. I wonder, wonder if this is what like scratching lotto tickets is. Oh yes, these are heat shrinks because uh, when I'm going to be making some of my own antennas um, for my transmitters and receivers, I'm going to just need to put the heat shrinks over the ends of the cable. So, huh, that's what that is. So, that goes in the rubbish, that goes for later. Okay, um, next thing, what have I got? Oh, huh, these are hair clips. That's what they are. Well, actually, they might be toupee clips or something. They're little clips so that when I put a lav in a person, hidden in a person's heel, maybe not somebody like me who's losing here though, <laughs> uh, when you're hiding a lav in a person's heel, that way, um, yeah, you can just sort of make sure the cable sort of stays there in place and, and you know, it doesn't move around. Because, um, yeah. Uh, sometimes put, putting, hiding it up in the hair can be a really good place depending upon, you know, if they've got like big long thick hair or maybe they're wearing a hat over the top or something. Um, if for whatever reason putting the, the lav microphone here doesn't work because, um, you know, maybe they have a really skimpy top or maybe it's just really noisy. I did a shoot with a girl like this once and she had, um, this big noisy puffer jacket. So you put a lavier microphone down here and it would just be like, and you just hear all the rustle. But if you put it up here, you would still hear some of the clothing rustle, but at least the distance from the clothing rustle was greatly reduced. And so, what, well, so I picked up her voice quite nice and it actually turned out really nice. So yeah, there are times when um, yeah, you want to place it in the heel. So that's why I've got that for my little accessory kit. And uh, by the way, this is a benefit of um, using a boom microphone at the moment rather than what I might normally do, just clip on a wireless uh, or, or wired lav. Because I was touching my chest. If I'd been wearing one back then while I was talking, it would have sounded terrible. But now, nah, I've got that just above me instead. So I can step away my chest as much as I like, be like a gorilla, beat my chest, it'll still be <laughs> okay. I won't be hitting any microphone. And rubbish. And next thing, what's in here? Oh, yes. These uh, BNC and SMA connectors to make some uh, antenna out of. Yep. And we probably should like the close up whenever I open stuff so yeah, you can see what it is. Oh yes, this is some more heat shrinks for the different size. So I wasn't completely sure what size heat shrinks would be best. So they're different colours too, so I can have them like colour coded or coordinated. 
And um, so you do achieve different colors representing different frequency blocks. And so yeah, I just wanted different sides because that might actually fit the cable better. So, yep, more heat shrink. Probably should, I don't think I even own a heat dryer. I need something so that I can heat it up and shrink it down. <laughs> ah, it's looking for something else. And that's rubbish. That's rubbish, rubbish. And next one. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. I am not even... Oh, I think this is... Oh, I think I took a little while to figure out what this is. I think this is toupee tape. Double sided toupee tape, because that is something I've been, you know... Um, you often want a fairly strong adhesive to stick a lav mic in place, not have it move around. Um, and yeah, apparently one good trick is toupee tape. And um, because pe people who are wearing toupees really don't want them to blow away or disappear. And uh, so yeah, that's a good trick. Another little thing to add to my lav accessory kit. Uh, what's this? Another mystery. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Oh, yeah, this is another kind of tape again for, um, for, for labs. Yeah. It's often, yeah, if you want just different kinds of tape for different kinds of situations, uh, you know, depending upon the costume or what the person is. And uh, yeah, another kind of tape I've got. So it's good to sort of spin around and find what's a good kind of tape. And yeah, you know, I'll, I'll rig up all my tapes and like a little uh, pulled up bit of rope. So I just have all the tools at hand to grab which one I need. It's a bit bigger, what is this? Oh yes, some more antennas. I'm going to uh, just try out how they work. Although these are different, they're like sort of a bit like old radio style antennas. They will stand out, I don't know experimenting around and seeing how it might happen. So, sweet. Ah. Rubbish, rubbish. Ah, almost finished. Rubbish. Ah, yes, this is, what kind of microphone is this? This is an extra spare microphone for um, Sony wireless but I've got this as you can see in um, a, a sort of a skin tan colored and so yeah I got that because sometimes if the top is a bit see-through you won't want to have a black cable um, you might want to have a different colored maybe a white cable or a common choice of some kind of more like skin colored cable so that way you do sort of see the hint of the cable, it won't stand out so obvious as if they say like a dark black coloured cable. So it's good to have a few different coloured cables um, of your microphone. So I'll put that away carefully in my pocket. Uh, yes, that goes there. Always done. Last two. Ah, yes, more. It's the making actions, cool. Uh, to build up some for myself later. Da -da -da -da. Ah, hey, shrink. Ah, yeah, it's more shrink wraps. But these are like just in a random bunch of sides, just a good assortment of them from small to super tiny, a mixed bag. So I can find out which ones I want from that. Hey, that's all. Thank you for being through my random opening of stuff. I didn't even know what was inside all the little bags. Yeah, it turns out, yeah, most of them were mostly uh, little bits of parts all related to, yeah, labs or accessories, because, uh, yeah, they're often tiny. And uh, see you next time.